How about you break out those moves? For your two biggest fans. Welcome to the impromptu stream. I'm your hostess, Astra Jobriath. The video starts as soon as you hit that like button. Yay, thank you! Real quick, this is my last home visit before moving back home full time. <laughs> Starting soon, I'm planning on doing a whole entire series of how things got this bad. Didn't mean to bounce like Mark Dice there. By the way, if you like Mark Dice, you'll like my shirt too. I want to thank you all for helping save my channel. We are almost at the 4,000 watch hour goal. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to the viewer who gave me a $200 super thanks for the last video. Unfortunately, YouTube being YouTube, they deleted his comment. So I wasn't able to post a message in reply. Imagine paying $200 to post a message and then having them censor it. But I appreciate the huge heart money. Everyone give a big round of applause to my mysterious benefactor. If you're one of those lovely people who are just waiting to comment, Trump just got sued for $300 million, Putin endorsed Joe Biden's Twitter, and you're still yapping and babbling about woke part two! I have an answer for you. Yeah, I am. Because while you pay attention to all that stuff on the news, you have people like this paying attention to your kids. We're coming for your chest. You don't want your children taught in school about what gay is? Oh, that's so nice, because, you know, maybe they would like to watch our channel and find out. And do you want to know what an asexual lesbian is? Oh, stick around, honey. I got you covered. I will raise you just right. Your mommy and daddy let you loose on the internet alone. And that was their problem. And now you belong. All your children are belong to us. Are you sure that you want your don't say gay bill now? All your children belong to us. Hi kids! Hi kids! Hey kids! It's good for children to see LGBTQ lives and LGBTQ people. Oh, and uh, Disney agrees with him? Last summer we, we removed all of the um, gendered greetings in relationship to our life skills. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually. Um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Um, and, and also as a leader. Um, we, we, had a, we had an open forum last week at 20th where, um, again, the home of, of really incredible groundbreaking LGBTQIA stories over the years where um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads in our content. And I went, what? I, that can't be true. And I, and I, and I realized, oh, it, it actually is true. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. And, and, and yet we don't, have enough leads you know as my son texted me this morning <laughs> you know gen z is 30 to 40 percent queer than the other generation's mom so disney better get with it and <laughs> so maybe no more frozen plushies for your kids i mean if if you have common sense if if not then go ahead spend all your money or maybe your sons will end up like these boys
Oh, lovely. Don't you just love just queer love and trans joy and uh, gay pride and and um, and bisexual enthusiasm, polyamorous inclusion. <laughs> Got to bake into a lovely cake. Learning and health for all eternity. How about you break out those moves for your two biggest fans? Coco Melon is essentially a poorly rendered cash grab targeted towards infants that makes terrifying music videos of popular nursery rhymes. It's kind of like if you made a sandwich with the Moonies being the bread and Dream's music video being the filling. We know about you. You love to get up and dance. How about you break out those moves for your two biggest fans? Wow. We love, we just love all the queer inclusion. The inclusion of queer babies. Yeah. I think that if this country didn't have representation for queer two-year-olds, then we would all just be dying. I think that the sun would be exploding and the moon would be just crashing down onto our planet like a comet. Oh, I forgot, the moon blasted off into space in like, September 16, 1999. But yeah, aliens would be taking over. Since we have this kind of representation, the world is saved! What you like to do? Just, Just be you. you. Just be me? Yep. When you're trying to decide, think about all the things you like to do. Just be you. Just be me. Alright, Nico, your turn. Think about something that you like to do. Hmm. Let me think about it. Okay, son, I'm gonna need you to pick the pink tiara for the camera. Y you know how we need to do this. <laughs> you can tell they wanted this guy to be as soy as possible because they made him look like Seth Rogen. <laughs> Look, 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 hold on. Wait. Oh, they're baby bears! Oh, I love them so much! They're so cute! It's baby bears! Oh! They're woke baby bears! Oh! No, really, though. This animation style is like really cute. Oh. <laughs> you found Jared! Poor lad! And this be Winnie! Hey there! I am the great Winifred! She's her! Actor extraordinaire! They're me new crew! This is awesome! Our crew also has a new addition, Pink Box! They use they them pronouns, and they make an exceptionally good quiche. <laughs> Your Box! I use they them pronouns as well! So, let's get this... Wait, why did that make me happy? I'm not supposed to be happy. They're grooming children. Ah, oh, I'm getting groomed too. But uh, it was a little talking star. And it was a baby panda and a polar bear and a grizzly bear. And they, they were, they, they were, uh. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. If it has that effect on me, then imagine on your three-year-old. Tell me you're not woke, sidekick panda. Also, who introduces themselves like, uh, I, hi, I'm so-and-so, uh, she, her, I'm so-and-so, pirate, pirate self, like, you know, I'm a high schooler, I'm just way too old for these kids, I, I just got an old boomer brain, so I can't understand all this leftist agenda, because I'm just too dumb and old. Oh wait, the boomers are the original leftists. And if you're one of those haters posting snarky comments, just know the boomers are almost dead. And when they are, it's go time. So uh, yeah, laugh all you can. We bear baby bears, aww, oh, baby bears. Oh, I want merchandise and everything. I want plushies of this, this thing. 
and I want, uh, uh, I just want to hug them. Uh, this makes me want to invest time and money in their thing. I want, I want the the merchandise, and I want, uh, I want the plushies, and I, I want to jump into the screen and hug them. And they're, they're, they're... Oh, the irony! Transformers. <laughs> We've always made Transformers a meme and associated it with trans people, and now look where that got us. This is Mandroid's lair, and these pieces represent all of us. Oh, may I be the bobblehead? Of course, um, Morgan, can you switch, um... Uh... Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. I identify as bi-gravitational, either being stuck to the earth or floating up in space. Neither one of those really describe who I am. Or maybe they're just collectively hallucinating. Oh wow, blue hair and pronouns. Not like there's a pattern or anything. Ooh, I like your pins. I am Nightshade. My pronouns are they, them. Thanks. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I know I'm safe when I'm with my friends or other non-binary people. Non-binary? People who aren't female or male. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. I always knew my pronouns felt right, but... What a wonderful word for a wonderful experience. Okay, so this would be a logic error in programming. In real life, it would be like this. Error, error, cannot process. Error, error, cannot process. Shut down. All about fish. You would. <laughs> well, listen to this. Some fish can change. That looks like JoJo C was dog on crap. Or I'm not to say on crap. Boy fish. Let's look at the <laughs> fish. Oh, are they beautiful? Oh, they it. live in a big group, <laughs> and their leader is always a female fish. But if the group needs a new leader, the male fish can change into a female fish in order to become the leader. It's the most There's also unfunny a fish thing ever. Die. And when the female cobbler reaches a certain age, over the period of a few months, he turns into a male fish. Okay. Wow. Not all fish can change gender, but quite a few can. It looks like Jojo oh, says dog on <laughs> Hello, little fishies. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the world wished to a girl fish, or from being a girl fish to a boy fish. Let's trans fish question mark? CBBS has really gone to hell since Waybaloo. Oh, Waybaloo! Oh, wow! In the night garden. Oh. Now, I'm waiting for the part where this dog on, dog on crack, not crap, well, on both, this crackhead dog says, Now, do you want to be a fish? Not all fish can change gender, but quite a few can. <sighs> oh, look! <laughs> Hello, little fishies! <laughs> the world really is a wonderful place, isn't it? <laughs> no. If they mess with Camberwick Green, I want blood. I want blood! Get in the pit! Shot yourself in the foot there, buddy. 
going to heaven and they're trying to bring this non-binary spork thing with them and, and then of course the spork has to just cause problems and and then everything gets ruined and all hell bro breaks loose and nobody gets to go to heaven and the character's name is forky but he's really a spork and spork is also a name of this movie about a hermaphrodite a movie for people my age also, a movie that hates Christians. Don't believe me for some reason? Let's check it out. I, that, there we go, we got it. Okay, now I know that this is inspired by Napoleon Dynamite and it's really over the top, but this is like really how they see Christians. Oh, religious fair. Let's see what she can learn about religion in the religious fair. Welcome, my little stray lamb. Welcome to salvation. Today is the last day of your sinner life and the first day of your new life with Christ, your Lord and Savior. So, um, if, if I join, I'll belong with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> of course, silly. You'll be my sister in Christ. Oh, it's so much fun. And you'll soon learn that together we can spread Christ's love to everyone we meet and bring them to salvation. Together. Why does she sound like Poppy Playtime? No, but, ugh. I don't like, why does she talk like that? She, you know, if I were to just uh, get my point across like this and talk all the time about, oh, you know, you can be my sister in the Christ and actually, you know, maybe have some good intent behind the message, but I sound really, really creepy like this and just my voice is just so forced. You do not want to be around me, do you? No, you don't. Together. Which is why I don't do that. You, you really mean it? Shh, now. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm your friend. What's your name, sweetie? Spork. Well, I, I, actually it's more of a nickname. Hmm. That's an interesting name. Why do they call you that? Okay, let me guess what's gonna happen here. Let me guess what's gonna happen here. She's gonna be like, Oh my gosh, you have a genetic mutation that you can't control? Sorry, God hates you. Bye. It's gonna... That, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Whatever. I really don't think someone like you would make a very good addition to God's army of goodness. I mean, really now, God made man in his own image, and I highly doubt that includes you, my dear sweet harlot, so... My dear sweet harlot. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Okay, now first of all, I just want you guys to know but this is not how real Christians act, okay? Like, I, like, yeah, on screen, I may preach against all this stuff that I consider sin, but I'm, but if you came to me in real life, and, but if you came to me in real life, and that's how you lived, and you said, hey, I want to learn about your God, I want to learn about this. Then who's to, uh, then who's to tell you that you can't? Because God does accept everyone. He doesn't accept sin. He accepts sinners, and that's all of us. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you loved it, and I'll see you again next week. Make sure to watch all my other videos, guys. You know, you could be watching someone else's videos, but why would you want to? Remember, boys. Be fruitful and multiply. Don't be fruity and kiss a guy. And Psychic Panda says bye-bye.
Okay, so during third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class, stand if you feel like it, don't stand if you feel like it, say the words if you want, don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words. Totally fine. Except for the fact that my room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where, and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I gotta find it. Like I'm working on it, I got you. meantime I tell this kid we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to and he like looks around and he goes oh that one <laughs> <Bizarre>. <laughs>